Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got Philemon's 125. It says, the grace of God, Jesus Christ, be with your spirit. So, yeah, going to try and keep that spirit going. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, justice is just not. Yeah. Okay. I was looking to see. There we go. Okay. I have some pictures I want to show you, but I don't want to lose them on my camera. So this week, um, yarn was on sale at Hobby Lobby for 30% off. So just saying, um, my boss's first grandbaby, um, I was making, I made the octopus and then I ended up making the seahorse and the jellyfish as well. And we went in and we decorated her office. I don't know if you can see, this is her desk. Oops, twitter. We have the octopus, there's a seahorse sitting up there and then the jellyfish was hanging um, from the corner there and stuff. And so we did that. And then I had the bag to put them in right here. And so I just had the little bag that said Sawyer. And then I had the octopus, the jellyfish and the seahorse. And of course the octopus is always a big hit. I don't know why he just is. Um, so we did, I took those and put them on the desk. In the meantime, um, when I had picked up yarn, there was one day and everybody was just griping and, and I'm talking clients like they were, I was screaming and yelled out like three or four times before 10 o'clock. Um, and one of my coworkers, her name is Katie, and she just kept saying, I think we just need a little sunshine. I just need a little sunshine. It had been foggy and rainy all week, and there was no break coming. Like, it was, wasn't super cold. It was just foggy throughout the entire day. Normally here in Oklahoma, we have it, and it burns off. But, yeah, it didn't burn off. The sun wasn't coming out. It went all week like that. And Katie just kept saying, I just need a little sunshine, just need a little sunshine. So, um, so in that spirit, I came and made her a little sunshine. I put some googly eyes on it. Um, and then the next night I whipped up, it's supposed to be a potted plant, like a succulent. But everybody thinks it looks like a turnip. I have not put um, any googly eyes on it. But, yeah. So, um, I'm getting my cable here. It said my battery was running low. Which, um, I used it to gather some embroidery stuff. And I'll show you why here in just a second. But I don't want to have to. You know, we're one record wonders. We don't do any editing. You get me mistakes and all. I'm human. So, don't want it to go dead. All right. So, this weekend, uh, I had one more thing that I wanted to do for my boss. And I was really nervous about doing it. Um, I had read on the internet and I had done, you know, just different things. I was like, oh my gosh. So I was really nervous. So I made other things. I made a bag for the item I was going to do. Um, I am learning to wind my own bobbins. So my bobbin is throwing, showing through. I might actually buy pre-wound bobbins because I don't like it. Um, I made a little paw. It's got a little hole up here. I made a little horse ornament, and you can tell the black is not as dark as it should be. The white 
bobbin is showing through um, even on the trim so yeah but I also know that when you're doing freestanding things that you should or freestanding lace that you should use the same color thread as bobbin but the thread did show through on this too after I pre uh, rewound the bobbins so yeah I will probably be buying some pre-wound the other thing that I made um, we have a young lady and I don't know what her religious beliefs are or personal beliefs whatever she does not take part in the silliness of the office she doesn't do birthdays she doesn't do Christmas she doesn't do um, Valentine's that kind of stuff uh, she absolutely when we have our Christmas party uh, they provide most of the time a meal with it and she just comes and sits she does not partake of the meal she does not uh, do the gift exchange she does not do you know people can give her things but she gives nothing I don't know I don't know what her religious beliefs are and I'm not criticizing I'm just saying so I decided that all the silly stuff like the um, pickle and all of that that I have been making I made small wallets for the gift cards I made the uh, emotional support pickles you know And so far I'm making that for everyone in the office it for their birthday. Haven't missed one yet. Not the one. Uh, Haley's birthday is the next birthday and she is the one that, you know, I don't know what her religious beliefs are. I don't know, you know, but I thought something simple. She says her favorite colors are black and white. She does not decorate her office as well. So I don't know. I just don't know. So. I set out to make something that I thought might fit into her lifestyle not silly something that would actually be tangible and used regardless of her religion and I came up with a freestanding lace bookmark this sucker took me two tries and two hours <laughs> but it's really cool I don't know if you can see the design And I just made it white you know so yeah I like it I hope it fits into her lifestyle um we'll see that's all I can say is we'll see all right so um the roommate had to work all day Saturday so I uh, gave me and scrubbed the entire house like the bathrooms bleached out the stools the sink spent all day really cleaning I didn't realize how nasty my bathroom was you know just around the base of the stool and, and I guess I just don't wipe down there there's carpet in my bathroom and then there's you know the stool and yeah I, I don't think um, let's just say that I cleaned so much in that bathroom that I broke the handle off of my little toilet screen scrubber but I use that to scrub the bathtub too so anyway I did that finally um, I did the little stuff throughout the week finally I sat down um, Saturday and I was like I'm gonna do this this is the idea I had in mind for Becky's grandbaby all along okay and it's a long sleeve onesie it's got a little tie in the front on the back it says banker and training so my boss is a banker and her son also works at the bank my thing is is that I didn't want it um, to keep that up I didn't want it itching the baby skin and so I wanted to put something over it and I did and it appears to be coming loose I'm gonna have to iron that again and I will I will do that right now because I'm taking this to her today so 
And if I have to stitch witchery, that thing on there so that it stays. But anyway, so I did this. And it says banker in training. And it's a zero to three months. They had a newborn. And this one said zero to three months. And I was like, I don't know what the difference is. But this one's a little bit bigger. And so uh, that is why we got that one. But yeah this was my big hope it comes out perfect kind of thing today and i will be taking that to her today um i'll set up the ironing board and make sure that fusion gets down there um then i decided that yesterday i was finally going to dive into the 2700 and let me see here all right so I hand spun the two pounds of wool that made the 27, 2,765 yards. Okay. And all pretty much looks like this. Um, I like it. So I decided I was looking through my um books and you know i use crochet wear a lot um i don't think i've actually done a whole lot with these patterns but i do use these books for inspiration and unfortunately there's like two corrections in this book um that was sent out after um <laughs> yeah it you have to make sure that your patterns are right. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I was looking through this and I just kind of like to play. And I wanted something that I could wear for work. And, dang it, of course I can't find the big picture of it. Find the little one. But I used an inspiration piece. Dang it, I know what's in this book. Um, there it is. Okay. And it's called a lacy sleeveless cardigan. Mine may not be sleeveless. Don't know. This is the inspiration. Okay right there uh it's got some fillet opening areas which i don't want any open areas i want this to be for warmth not just for looks and basically this is constructed in three pieces two front pieces and a back piece okay and so um see if I can let me show you the smaller picture and you'll see right there you see the black showing through and so the the black showing through is her shirt underneath I don't want openings like that I don't want it's a almost like a fillet crochet area in it and I don't want that so I started last night and I took inspiration from that one and I started with um, I have 15 rows of double crochet it's 30 wide then I have 10 rows of single crochet and then I'm going to go back to 15 rows of the double crochet with these bands across it just like hers had stripes you know um now again you guys know me and i am using a 4.0 millimeter hook i don't know what that is in american it just seemed to fit the diameter of the yarn so um i'm working from the top down doing this here and then I put my increases 
I started my increase. This one I'm not as far on. You guys know that I tend to use to do two the two front pieces because they have to match. I do them at the same time. Okay. So I've already got the arm started with increases. And this is going to be straight right across here. And then this will go around here. And so, yeah, I've got the armhole started. But, yeah. So I'm doing this. And I am hoping with 2,700 yards to make it longer. Uh, I want it to come down over my rear end and be like a I'm hoping a trench coat length but I don't know we'll see how far I get and then we'll see I may be putting sleeves on it and they'll just be rectangle sleeves just very square because the whole thing is very square so um yeah I was working on that uh but that is about it in a nutshell for this week um, I'm taking that to Becky, uh, for her grandbaby. Um, I'm going to iron that one piece and all that good stuff. And, uh, other than that, oh, I will probably be working on this sweater most of the week. I don't know what else I'm going to be doing. Uh, I may play with the colored yarns that I got. Um, I want to make a bat. I have a pattern for it. Um, my Mary Maxim uh, order. Still, everything is on back order, they said. So, I have nothing. They have my money. I had four free download patterns. And literally, I don't know, four or five Pudgy six pudgies. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That's all I like to say. They say they're on back order until the first time that I was told. Um, I was told they were on back order until the third. And then the next time I was told they were on back order until the twelfth. So of uh, February. I ordered them January. Actually, I think I ordered them December, but anyway yeah so i haven't gotten those yet oh and i'm sorry it's not mary max it's hershiser Hersh i've not ordered from them before hershners i don't know how you say it i haven't really paid attention but it's there so it's not mary max and it's on back order it is the hershners so hopefully i will get those this week so yeah I don't know. We shall see. If not this week, the next week, or the next week, or I'll get a refund. So, anyway. All right. I will let y'all off here. I will talk at y'all later. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week. Bye.